Hey guys, it's McSan here, and uh, we got a brand new trailer for Final Fantasy 16. Ambition. So yeah, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, didn't they announce that they delayed this game? You know what? Fine. Take your time. Take your time here. Um. Oh boy, yeah, this, uh, this is a game where it goes back to its more fan fantasy roots here. They never left those fantasy roots here, but they're going much more, much harder into fantasy stuff here. It's not like uh, Final Fantasy XV or Final Fantasy VII Remake here, in which we had uh, mo like modern, like more modern-esque, modern-day stuff here, but in a fantasy-esque setting. Or even like Final Fantasy XIV, which is like a combination of both science and sorcery. No, it's a uh, pure on fantasy here with Final Fantasy fantasy. But so, all right. Uh, the last trailer I saw was all like spotlighting. The summons here, the obvious ones like Ifrit, Titan, Bahamut, Shiva. Awesome. Awesome. But I'm hoping we can get some story content here. We got enough to give us general gist so far, but likely likely? Likely? All right, 1,500 years, ooh. And Valisthea has been slowly dying. Oh. Ever since. Valisthea's dying, ah, uh, for 1,500 years. Creative as an elf, but we're in the middle of the Deadlands. The rights of this place dry. There are no trees, no birds, and no magic. No magic. Oh, that's not good. The mother's flame now all but a flicker. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Joshua here, so. Ambition. Shall bow before the darker ambitions. Got it. Mechian Republic, whose fortunes shift with the desert sands. And what of our wise rulers, goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might wreak? That look blind ambition. Higher. Uh oh, that one. Stay in the ether. There's a lot of kingdoms here. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals. From a phoenix. phoenix. Will the land ignite? In the year Damn. 860. The Imperial Army will march upon Rosaria. Wow! From the slaughter shall a new shadow rise. Oh boy, a effort. To fall upon the dominance, painting their destiny black as night. This kid was supposedly gifted here, they can summon this guy. Our ability to summon beasts of great might should command respect. Oh, those outcasts left you outcast, huh? What makes them think they have the right to what? use us? The we heck to die when our bodies are spent. I'll crush him. Blow him. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Okay, that does that. The uh, all right, we got Shiva here. The, ti the Titan, Gigan, whatever I from that boss. So it's, it's done by the same people who pretty much do the up to uh, work on Final Fantasy XIV. And so yeah, a lot of designs obviously look exactly like the primals we faced there. Oh yeah, a lot like them, exactly like them. Acorn of Fire, Jesus! It is you who shall bow to me! Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. I gotta wonder, will we pick a faction here? I'll say a reckoning. War of the Icons. Huh. Summer 2023. So we got I got plenty of time there. It's like five, like five different king, five or six different king. I, I wasn't I was wasn't really counting here. I was more like trying to learn what I can from these guys. But wow. Each one's ruler seems to be able to harness the power of the primal here, but the land, 1,500 years, and the land is dying here. Like, the Badlands are there. There's no magic. There's no ether. If this... Okay, this is done by Creative Assembly, they said. Like, Yep. The Creative Business Unit 3. These are the same, the same people who work on Final Fantasy XIV. God, I want to get back to that game here. I, I won't. I'm like just. I'm. Um, I'm just halfway into the Heaven's War expansion or something like that, where I found the uh, the Goblin, uh, New Goblin City here, built upon the ruins of the old one, and you know, you're still looking for Master Matoya. But yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of parallels here, and I'm assuming that Ether runs through the planet here, so it keeps it life here, because the Badlands, there's no magic here, there's no life, it's dying, and. Yeah, we see some who are, looks like they're good guys. Others who have dark ambitions. Others seem to be blind ambitions. And others who are suicidal here. Like, they treat a Aether like a plague? And it's going to be a hell of a war here. We got five, like, five different factions. Different kingdoms here of... Ver various uh, different ideologies and methodologies. Are we gonna choose one? It's like, uh, I mean, so far they hint that, uh, they they kind of the tra previous trailers have made it look feel like we we're gonna be this kid here, this this kid here who can summon like. The icon of Ifrit, Ifrit here, the, the fire and everything. But now I'm wondering here, is it gonna be like we get to choose which faction, and thereby which uh, player player will play here that can summon the that can summon a primal or the icon? This, uh, yeah, Roman reminds me of, uh, that other character with the hood, everything that I saw in the, uh, Shadowbringers trailer. The game is set. But our heroes will, will, will play their part like that. Is, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know why. He just made me think that. All right, uh, and obviously the, I'm assuming they follow different rules here, but summoning these primals, these beings, the icon, these icons or whatever, takes up a lot of magic here. So I'm wondering, could could it be that every time they call forth this power here and and harness the the icon, the the icons, bring them forth, are they draining the magic of the land faster? So basically, yeah, that, that that would be interesting here, where summoning these incredible forces is a massive double-edged sword. Yes, you 
got a you got a hell of a trump card here but doing so brings a pl brings the world closer and closer to death i'd like to know uh what's that sword's name here it's probably based on actual on a long-standing final fantasy blade maybe it's a moromasa who i doubt it so yeah it looks like are we gonna be playing i mean so far they hint this character, or they hint that, or yeah, other trailers, also the other trailers sometimes hint at us playing this guy right here. All right, there's actually gameplay. I, I think, yeah, was there, there is gameplay. We play this guy, but it really feels like this guy is just a soldier here, and I don't know, but we get to play as these uh, characters, this kid, and the other characters can summon the icons. It's, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot here. I like how it's keeping us. Uh, Keeping me guessing like this stuff like that here makes me want to check out re watch again the old trailer stuff like that see If I can get more out of it now that could it slowly all comes together big things to this trailer here, but yeah ambition Good title we see everyone has their own ambitions here and e Jesus Ooh boy, so yeah, the planet is dying, and every kingdom here thinks they have the solution. And yeah, naturally they're they're butt heads over this. <laughs> this game is gonna be summer of twenty twenty three. Yeah, definitely will want to play this on a PS5 Pro. The de I mean, the dev kits for the Pro have already been released to develop to various developers, so... Yeah, wait and see. In the meantime, I really got to, uh, got to look for, got to get an opportunity to, uh, get back in Final Fantasy XIV. There, has there been any news at all about another, like, free login events or something? <sighs> I wish I could, I wish I could, like, uh, downgrade... My account to the free trial system, to the free trial account. Hmm. Oh well, I so I just have to uh, make a brand new character account on a free trial account. I don't know. So everyone, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> As always, comment below you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Till next one. This is Mixon, logging out.